of society's most vulnerable people. For Omaha's homeless population, health issues compound the struggles they face, like finding permanent housing. A two-year pilot program aims to keep people experiencing homelessness out of the hospital and get them on a positive path forward. With no permanent windows of their own, it's more challenging to be healthy. Here at the Sienna Francis House, shelter guests shuffle through medical issues, many chronic. They average about 250 hospital emergency room visits a month. A lot of our guests will use the emergency room as their primary care doctor. The shelter director, Jamise Wagner, says local shelter guests will have about 500 hospital stays a year. And an overwhelming issue, those folks being readmitted to the hospital more than 2,000 times in 2020. Hi, how are you? Nikila Patterson is working to change that trend. All you have to do is just call one of us and we can sign you up. She's a health navigator with Charles Drew Health Center. On this day, she's at the Heart Ministry Center. Every day, she sets up shop at shelters and food pantries to serve people in need to avoid a health care emergency. Once you build a good rapport with them and they feel like they can trust you, they open up a lot more. Um, and then they'll really start expressing all of their concerns, all of their needs. She makes doctor's appointments, arranges rides, and follows through when patients exit the hospital. We try and make sure we break through all those barriers and, you know, all the feelings that they have and just try and make sure that we're there 100% to let them know that we're here to help them. And now she has a place for clients to heal when they leave the hospital with a new two-year pilot program. <laughs> The Sienna Francis House is part of a new medical respite program with Sync Health and Charles Drew. Six beds are set aside for those healing from a health issue or discharged from the hospital. They can stay for days or weeks, and primary care is right on the property. So we're hoping that with the medical respite program, those individuals who need some updated medical care can lessen their visits into the emergency room, and so that keeps that door from revolving. Charles Drew takes the clinic to the shelter, doing testing from EKGs to STDs. Nikila working toward the ultimate outcome, shelter residents getting a place of their own, taking away one extra burden. I think it's them not knowing their resources, not knowing what's out there to help them. Serving others. Thank you. So they can navigate their own course. And it's working so far. The respite program has seen a drop in hospital readmissions since August. CHI Health is funding the respite program with a $500,000 grant.